Hey folks, Dan from BNN Custom Creations. I wanted to show you a little update I've got to my plasma table. I've made a fume hood for this. Uh, in the shop, you know, with you doing a lot of plasma cutting, that um, the smoke and the particulate that's created from the plasma process uh, coats everything. And it gets to be a real nasty mess in here. Uh, in fact, my uh, air conditioning filter um, gets clogged up. Uh, if I'm doing a couple days of cutting, I, I mean, that thing is clogged pretty bad. So I made a fume hood up and I wanted to kind of show you what I've done in case somebody else might want to, might want to try and uh, do something similar. I'll show you what I like, what I don't like, some of the problems that I've got. I'll probably have to do some hand uh, movement with this thing, so hopefully I don't shake to death. But anyway, uh, so what I've done is, you know, here is the original pole uh, that comes with your table that your uh, torch handle attached is to. And all I've done is actually bent from conduit, uh, electrical conduit, four more of those, or actually three more of those, and put them on each corner. So there's the uh, one on that corner, there's the one on that corner. Uh, to those poles, then, when they all go up towards the top, uh, I have now uh, taken uh, some sheet metal. It's, uh, I think, 22 gauge um, sheet metal, and mounted it to those poles with uh, rivets, pop rivets. And you notice on the ends, I've had to form it so it extends a little bit farther instead of making them flush with the poles. But on the sides, they are flush with the pole. Up at the top, uh, I had to convert that opening, that square opening into a round opening, uh, done that, and I've made some small little connections uh, that goes from here to the top and just tie, tie wrap those down to hold it down. Then from the top at, at the round, uh, bought from, I think it's Fever, F-E-V-O-R, uh, this uh, tubing, ductwork, Flex, uh, collapsible or flexible ductwork that goes down and connects to an axial fan. See if I can get you out of that, that sun. Um, and so I just stick this thing outside. Like that, I close the, the door and uh, on top of that, and then the opening along that 15 wide garage door, right now I've got just a piece of, big piece of cardboard uh, that came from a machine that I have uh, when it was shipped. And it works real good, although it's not uh, permanent. I think I might actually put something that would have a little hinge that would slide down or pivot down so that when I have the garage door open, it'll pivot down and seal that. Because if the wind's coming in the right direction, well, I'm not sure when I'm trying to blow stuff out, I think it might be blowing stuff back. So let's look at this thing a little bit closer and I'll show you uh, some of the things I like, some of the things that uh, I would have done different. Uh, the first one and the, the major one is when I measured how wide I should have it and trying to take into account the, uh, um, the cable for that torch, I tried to make sure that I left room for it. And on the back, you know, there's, there's a lot of room. I'm going to close that garage door and try to keep that. Pardon me. Try and keep that, uh, or keep that light from blooming the uh, image. But anyway, uh, so when I measured the thing, I made sure that when this carriage goes all the way back into Y, that I still had room up at the top where the cable wouldn't interfere. What I forgot to realize is that, that that torch is actually about six inch farther on the front side. And so sure enough, um, right now, I contact this front panel if I try and go to the extreme. So what I've done is I've gone into my soft limits and I just shortened it about four inches. Now this front part comes off uh, with some pinch and then it's got set strategic locations, it's got some uh, magnets just to hold it on uh, so that I could take that off if I need to. Uh, and what I might do is if you see here, I have bent this or formed this piece with an extension to try and get it 
farther out in this direction, do that on both sides. I might have to do that in the front and that will give me my four inches back and I can do full travel on that table. Uh, the other thing is obviously with my lights up top, I lose all my, um, all my light uh, with that uh, hat on there, with that uh, fume hood on there. And so I just bought from Amazon cheap, like $12 um, little light strips. And you can see, you know, they're, I don't have them on the front panel because that panel's got to come off. But I've got them uh, during the rest of it. And that can be dimmed or whatever. I'm just going to leave them at full bright for now. And that goes to just a little um, switch where you can turn that off, turn it back on. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, I may at some point in time uh, mount that axial fan uh, in the wall, cut an opening to the outside. I'm not sure. Uh, so far, it's working pretty good. Um, and I hate to put a, wall, a hole in this uh, wall. They're insulated. They're six inches thick insulation in between two metal panels. So I, I don't relish cutting a hole in the wall. So I may just leave it as it is. So the only negative is the fact that I didn't do a good job in making sure that I had uh, could go full travel on the front. I can modify that. Oh yes, the other thing. You know, when you're cutting, say a sheet, oftentimes the smoke and the particulates and so forth actually come out from the edge of the sheet uh, just as much as they do from where the cutting's taking place. And so that's why I had to extend that uh, to make sure that I could uh, capture uh, all of that uh, smoke. And, uh, and so that's why I've done that. Now, I, when I've cut some things with a full sheet, I still notice a little bit of that coming up around the edge and not getting sucked up inside that thing. I don't know if the vacuum of that little axial fan's not got enough oomph uh, or what the deal is. So what I may wind up doing is, you know, hanging a, you know, a towel or a, a pillow piece of tarp. You know, since this is metal, I just could run magnets and hang that down there when I'm doing a bunch of cutting uh, and then, you know, move it out of the way when I don't need it. Uh, I'm not sure. It may be fine. I mean, this is obviously a huge improvement over not having anything. So um, that is the latest little addition to the plasma table. And uh, I'm going to use it for a while. In fact, I got a, a couple of days, full days of cutting I got to do. And I'll know pretty quick whether it's doing what I'm hoping it will do. And I will you know, give you an update if not, see what I might have to modify. Okay, that's it. Dan from DNA Custom Creations. Thanks a lot.